what is going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel so here we are with the 22 wide body guys um, I'm gonna be going over some differences between the 22 and the 21 like I mentioned in my last video so enough talking let's check it out even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go I never answered a no man I still go 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 A lot, hustle every single day I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave uh, To the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me, bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain and There it is, guys Finally picked it up 22 wide body Scat pack charger and there are a couple small differences between the 21 and the 22 as you might have saw when I remote started both of them. The turn signal right here is now a switchback design. All right, so you're gonna have your standard white DRL and then that's gonna switch back to amber uh, when the turn signal's on. So the turn signal is not here anymore, guys. So we will check that out right now. Alrighty, so as I said, that's how the turn signal looks on the 22s. And there we are on the 21. So I definitely like this a lot better. I think it just looks mean. So guys, you let me know in the comments which one you like better. Um, I definitely like the 22 turn signals better. I think it looks cooler. Um, but that is one major difference between the 21 and the 22s. Let's get to the next one. All right, guys. So the first difference was obviously the location of the turn signals. Here's the second difference. Car's running. Got the key in my hand. Uh, so it does beep three times when the car's running and the key is out of the vehicle to let you know that the key is out of the vehicle. Now I have not found a way to disable that. Um, I don't even know if you can. I haven't really looked into it much, but just a quick glance in the uh, radio settings on the 22, I have not seen uh, an option to turn that three beep off when the vehicle's running and the key's out of the vehicle. Um, so it kind of does something that GM does uh, because the GMs do beep uh, three times and alert you that the vehicle or the, that the key is out of the vehicle. So those are literally the only two differences between 21 and the 22. Like I said, I love the turn signals on the 22 more than the 21. And please let me know which ones you like better. So let's check out the 22 wide body uh, exclusively up close. All right, guys, so literally those two are the only differences uh, between the 22 and the 21. Interior, exactly the same. Of course, we got the ruby red interior. Um, obviously, if you get the plus package, you get the Alcantara and leather, and everything is exactly the same. The radio layout's the same. The center uh, speedometer screen is the same. Everything is exactly the same. Really nice red stitching. Uh, beautiful, beautiful car, and of course, you gotta have the ruby red interior with the indigo blue. It's just a perfect contrast. If I didn't have orange, I would have definitely had red interior. But orange and red just clashes, doesn't look good. All right guys, of course, indigo blue, in my opinion, the dual carbon stripe is a must have. And truly, it's a must have on every color. As you can tell, I love the dual carbon stripe. But the indigo blue with the dual carbon stripe just looks mean. It breaks things up perfectly. And so, real quick, we ordered this car May 17th, I believe. It came uh, June 25th, if I'm right on those dates. I might be a couple days off, but regardless, um, literally took five weeks to get this car from order to delivery. So, um, those long wait times, I'm not seeing it. Um, I know tons of people who ordered uh, TRXs and Hellcats, Scat Packs. They've all been getting their stuff within two months. Um, obviously, my 21, I ordered that May 25th of 2021, and it came exactly a month to the day, um, June 25th, 2021. So my car only took a month. My fiance's car only took a month, and they are almost a year apart. So guys, if you've been waiting a long time, I'm sorry. Um, I personally have not had any issues getting cars 
Uh, of course, we did order from what they claim to be the seventh largest Dodge dealer in the nation. So I don't know if that makes any difference, if they have more pull um, or what the deal is. But keep on your dealers, guys. And I hope you guys get your cars soon for those of you who have been waiting a long time. Um, I did hear that if you are in Canada and you ordered a car, they are still not making Canadian orders for Canadians. So, guys, that sucks. Um, that really sucks because I know people that are uh, on the forums or whatever, and they've been waiting two years for their cars because they've, I don't know, with COVID or what the deal is, but they're fulfilling uh, U.S. orders before they are fulfilling Canadian orders. And it's kind of weird that they do come from Canada. They are built in Canada. Um, not really sure what's going on there. Uh, guys, really awesome car. Uh, I really just wanted to kind of show you guys the new ride. And um, stay tuned because I'm going to be filming tons of mod videos on this. We have, uh, obviously, I did the Lux already. That's up and running. And uh, we just ordered an exhaust for it. I'm super excited for the exhaust to share you guys the install, what we got, and how it sounds. But, guys, that's going to do it for this video, and uh, we will catch you on the next one.